Thank you so much. Uh, that's a first for me. And um, I want to thank uh, President Kerwin for asking me to do this and for remembering to bring my speech from my chair over to the podium. <laughs> to Chairman Cassell and uh, President Kerwin and Provost Bass and all the deans, faculty, students, and members of the administration, uh, I give you my profound thanks for the honor of speaking at the 130th commencement of this fine institution and the first December ceremony in a decade. To the graduates, my congratulations. While it's a great privilege, and for me an unprecedented privilege, to receive an honorary Doctor of Laws this morning and to be among the presidents, Nobel laureates, Supreme Court justices, scholars and artists who have spoken at AU, today is your day. Because today we all celebrate your achievements and your hard work enormously well done. Look back at what you've accomplished and savor the present moment of recognition and joy. Look forward to the future and please be determined to make it a better future, not only for yourselves, but for us all. You are now among the best educated and best informed generation of Americans ever, thanks to your dedication, hard work, and thanks to this extraordinary university. And we are all looking forward to your leadership in years to come. I also offer my heartfelt congratulations to the faculty and staff of American University. It takes all of the creative and talented individuals who make up the community of a university to convey the information and support and spirit of academic pursuits. And you all at AU do it exceedingly well. I now also want to ask the graduates for just a moment to join me in recognizing and thanking your family and friends. You and I both know that we wouldn't be here today without their love and support. Thank you. <laughs> American is one of our nation's most distinguished universities. It consistently ranks in the top echelon of institutions of higher education in the United States, thanks to its first-class faculty and staff. And it is an innovative institution that knows how to capitalize on the many opportunities presented by being in Washington. In a city of government, it is not surprising that American ranks number five in the world in institutional impact in the field of public administration. In a city of diplomacy, it is not surprising that American is a top 10 destination for undergraduate international study. In a city of learning and accomplishment, it is not surprising that 15 American University students are currently on Fulbright grants. But more than its academic accomplishments, I believe the values and character of this institution and its students are best reflected in Americans ranking as second among mid-sized colleges for producing Peace Corps volunteers, and as the second greenest college in the nation is ranked by the Sierra Club. Just days ago, as we know, the nations of the world came together in Paris to address the perils of climate change and the need to take strong and immediate action. This university has already done so by making such a strong commitment to environmental sustainability turning this entire campus into the award-winning American University Arboretum and Gardens, and taking every opportunity to turn your facilities greener. And the excellence of the American University is reflected in its distinguished alumni in government. Just a very few examples include District of Columbia Mayor Muriel Bowser, in law, Federal District Court Judge Reggie Walton, in journalism, NPR's Bob Edwards. In the arts, author Ann Beatty. In business and industry, Danaher CEO Stephen Rails. And in philanthropy, Robert Kogod, generous benefactor of the American University Business School, the arts in Washington, and the Smithsonian Institution. Today, each of you joins that distinguished roster of alumni. At the same time, you are entering an increasingly uncertain an unpredictable world. A world still in the stubborn grip of enormous economic turmoil 
in a world where our core values are debated on college campuses, on the streets of our cities, and around the globe, as traditional democratic and humanistic ideals seem to be under siege. I am convinced that you graduates are well positioned both to personally succeed and to make a difference in this world. Uncertainty brings opportunity. Your education, your hard work, and your commitment to the values and traditions of this university give you a special opportunity and obligation. Looks good to me. <laughs> As you enter the next phase of your lives and careers, think beyond your own employment prospects and please think about how you can be an exemplary, engaged, and effective citizen. In doing that, I have a, sp a few specific requests of you. First, please place a special priority on looking outward and serving your communities, whether through volunteerism, philanthropy, or other efforts. As you learned at American, think beyond just me, think of me and us. As President Kennedy told the AU graduating class of 1963, I am confident that the men and women who carry the honor of graduating from this institution will continue to give from their lives, from their talents, a high measure of public service and public support. And I share President Kennedy's confidence. Second, please always remember to vote. Our nation has thrived on debate, the give and take between ideas and values and opinions. And nowhere is debate more evident and respected than through the ballot box. The American University student body is consistently ranked at or very near the top of those most politically active. You can bring formidable talents, experience, and intellect to these increasingly divisive debates. You already know how important voting is. Your voice needs to be heard. We all will benefit from it. Third, as you enter a troubled world in terms of race relations and other evidence of intolerance, please do your individual part to look beyond your own perspective. From studying at a campus as diverse as Americans, you value diversity along many dimensions. Approach the issues of the day with an open mind to and respect for the views of others. Seek controversy as an invitation for dialogue and better understanding. And continue to see the other as a neighbor if not a potential friend, set the example. In this regard, I am particularly proud that the founding director of the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History and Culture is Lonnie Bunch, an alumnus of American University. Since the tragic events in Ferguson, New York, Cleveland, and Baltimore, Lonnie has used the convening power of the Smithsonian to demonstrate how sensitive racial issues can be addressed in civil and constructive ways. Our nation looks forward to and has high expectations for the opening of the new museum on the National Mall and at the foot of the Washington Monument next September. Under Lonnie's leadership and with the support of the entire Smithsonian, this museum will deliver on its promise to stimulate dialogue about race and to help foster a spirit of reconciliation and healing. Fourth, please remember that each of us has developed opinions and world views based on a complex mix of how we were raised and what our experiences have been, and of course, our formal education. At American, you have had the enormously gratifying experience of being taught by distinguished faculty from the entire range of scholarly disciplines. Equally important is what you have learned outside the lecture hall from other students, staff, the residents of Washington, and so many others whom you've met here. While your diploma officially acknowledges your American University education, this commencement in the company of your fellow students and friends and family is an acknowledgment no less important than your diploma of your American University experience. Cherish both, use both, and finally, You've had the opportunity to learn, discover,
create and contribute with the guidance and support of highly skilled university staff and under the mentorship of professors who care deeply about your success and who will continue to have an impact upon your lives. Your connections to faculty and staff members will bring personal and professional benefits for the rest of your lives. And I encourage each of you to stay in touch with your mentors, your professors, your friends, and your school. I know that much of what you've heard today, you may have heard before, and of course I'm not surprised. But I do know that in light of the fact that I have the honor of giving the first American University commencement address in December in 10 years, that it's been a long time since the previous commencement speaker has been able to wish you not only great success, but also happy holidays. Thank you.